How would you describe the man that you play in this film? Because it, it's quite hard to make sense of him, isn't it? Mm. Um, I think he's someone who's uh, basically been severely bullied by everyone who's around him. Like kind of who's no, uh, he, he's been convinced by his family and whoever he grew up with that he's in some way slow and like kind of like mentally deficient. But I don't actually think he is. I think he's just been told it so many times that he's sort of be regressed inside himself. Um, and you know, he, he thinks he's incapable of a thought without, he, he just wants to be told what to do all the time. That looks good. Is this man your friend? Tell me where your brother is. He's going south, a long way from here. I'll take you to him, I promise. In terms of an acting challenge, how did this push you? I mean, is it or is it unlike anything you've ever done before? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, just in terms of the physicality and stuff. It's, uh, but mainly because it w the, the script and and the part as well. It, it was so loose about what the character was that you could really you're quite free to do almost anything. Um, and so you kind of, I think the one, the one scary thing for me was doing too much because you could just overload on you know, weird ticks and stuff. Um, but uh, but yeah, I thought I thought it was actually one of the easiest characters I've ever played. It was the f most fun, definitely. You don't learn to fight. Your death's gonna come real soon. You've been taking on really good roles uh, in, in, in recent times. Do you feel that you've kind of moved away from being pigeonholed as a kind of twilight person, really? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's still... I've just been really lucky with the, a few scripts. And then also people who I've been trying to have a relationship with for ages, different directors like Harmony Corinne and, and James Gray. I mean, I've met them... James, I met like five years ago, and I'm trying to, and it just so happened that suddenly these parts came along, and they all came along at the same time. Um, but uh, I basically still think exactly the same as I did years ago. I mean, I've sort of approached everything exactly the same. I thought you'd be working on your script. I wish I was. Gotta pay the bills. This is really a kind of a good can film festival for you, isn't it? Because you, you, you've got another film here. Mm. What kind of comment is that film making about Hollywood? I mean, I haven't seen it. I've heard it's a, a, a satire, though. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's generally, definitely parts of it which are pretty savage. It was pretty savage about absolutely everybody, not just Hollywood. But, um, but um, there's also a kind of weird mysticism to it as well. It's such an odd film. It's so funny, though. But uh, I don't know. I mean, the, I, I, I I don't know what David's comment. On, yeah, I don't really know what his comment on Hollywood is. I mean, because I find all these people, I find all the weirdos in Hollywood like kind of really funny and entertaining. I mean, and I think they're really funny in the movie. Like no matter how dark they are and self-obsessed. I mean, I think it just shows a lot of how crazy actors are. <laughs> How do you feel that you move forward as an actor? How, how do you grow? Do you make a conscious effort to look at other actors? Do you listen to what directors tell you? How, how does it work? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's little bits of everything. I mean, you just try and work with, with clever people and, and, and people who are ambitious and, and, uh, and, you know, and, and know how to, how, to, how, to do, how to work. Um, but it's funny, even seeing like, you know, how like.